All right, it's May 11th, uh, 2024, about 9.45 or so, and I'm supposed to meet my buddy Pete, who's coming into town from the uh, other side of the state. And we're gonna hang out for a little bit, do some fishing here on Long Lake, and hopefully do good. We're gonna kinda hit the same area I've been doing good. I think the bass maybe have spawned. The bluegill tend to spawn kind of along that drop-off edge. So maybe the bluegill will start to spawn and the bass are hanging out by them, that's my hope. But well, try that with a rattle trap, spinner bait, jerk baits. See if we can get something to go on with that. And just keep working around the lake. So we just have the, the trolling motor and the wind's kind of blowing on that side of the lake. So we'll have to fight the wind a little bit. I would start with fishing guide. Real, real speed. How fast do you pull reel leads, or how fast do you usually reel this time? This way. Oh, about that speed. Okay. And then I give like a little flick every once in a while, just to make the blades kind of. Yeah.
for quicker snaps. So like, you don't want to, you don't want to pull the lure. If you, if you pull the lure, it just swims straight. You want the lure to be sitting there, and when you jerk, all of a sudden it snaps to the one side. So it's a snap, snap, snap. Yeah, more like that. Oh yeah. So you should, yeah. as you reel, you shouldn't feel the bait move because you reel. It should always be with just your rod moving the bait. Reels just kind of pick up a slot. You go to twitch one time and it all of a sudden feels heavier, just like your bait stops or something like that. Half yeah. the time it's weeds, but the weeds are a little, a little less, more of a mushy feel. Like you kind of feel like you're pulling through it. Okay. But you do want to fish hit. You you jerk and all of a sudden it just stops That's midway. And you're like, oh, up there. <laughs> then you just jerk a little bit more. And just finish the hook set.
not a giant. It's three pounds. No. Um, You see the black? Big black black up the tree? Oh yeah, I do. Nice fit. Yeah. I'm the dirt bait you didn't want to use. Yeah, I know, I told you. I told you. I like the feel of this one better for some reason. Yeah, it's just a little solid. Yeah. I'm just not used to fishing that layer you want to go. 18 and a quarter. Yeah. This one's got all sorts of black splotches everywhere. Yeah, it does. 2.75. They always better be that. Just kind of a mutation thing. So this one's tail's beat out. This one's okay. done spawning, kind of. This uh -huh. might be a male, even. Okay. Something. It's bad. He's got black splotches on his tongue, even. Not bad. Like I said, there's this, there's a technique to it though. Like, yeah, and if you, you don't know, know the technique, yeah, you're you're not gonna you don't catch nearly as many fish. What I was going to say, yeah. It was like the fundamental is a good twitch, so you got to have a. Yeah, it helps when you get like when you're on kind of a calm lake. Like if you come, say like a fishing pier like this, and it's clear and just sunny. You can twitch it and watch the bait work like a long ways out from you and go, okay, I see now yeah, like see the motion. how to how I need to jerk it, how make long it I need to pause. And make it look like like, right? Yeah. Yeah, that pause is the thing. Like, I mean, who knows? I might have been catching some provoking bites because I would do it doing something different earlier, you know, like maybe there's more pause or like more. Who knows what? Yep. It's hard because you catch a fish and it, like they say to try to repeat exactly kind of what you were doing for the most part it's something about like how long you waited in between each that's what i wondered too yeah i just waited right there and caught a fish there you go oh it was a 10 to 12 inch crappie again <laughs> so i do have an advantage being in front of the boat because i can cast kind of right along the drop so i like to fish like yeah. not across it but like right along the Long. edge yeah isn't that, so I've always kind of my boat set up to where I can cast straight where, ahead into that. Where's the drop at? Like, it's kind of right. So we're in 15 feet. Try to. We're in 15 feet right now. So it, it's here and then it goes out just a little way. There's a point. It's not a big point, but it does come out a little ways up ahead. Okay. So, like I said, I, I usually kind of have us right near the drop. So, casting onto the flat. Oh, it's a little it's chunky bigger, one. Yeah. Nice one. A little chunky one. Another nice one. On the dirt bait you didn't want. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought that line snapped again where you could be there. Yeah, did you hear that? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, you do it again. <laughs> Just you cast it into three feet of water, we might have found it. Yeah, it was a little rough. Come on, Jay. That's a nice bat. It's not a bad bat. Bad one. Oh. 17, 18 inches again. So 17 inches, probably two. Like camera on. Yeah. Yep. It's like you got hit, bit by something. Well, I think that's from my hood. Oh, no, in the back. Huh? Yeah, I don't know what that is. <laughs> probably where I caught them last time. Yeah. I caught all these fish. That's right. They're all, <laughs> all got your mark on. Got a fish. Got a fish. Got a fish, got a fish. You got fish? Yeah. Uh -huh. It's pike. It's gonna be pike. Ah, oh, it's pike. There is. I told you. you this, is, this is pike area over here. Pike territory. I didn't tell you it's pike territory <laughs> along this edge over here. I got you. <laughs> That's why I hate Jimmy pike. Guy. Stuck in a net. Yeah. There's your pike. You can nice. show the camera. Just I'll kidding. work on this. Oh, well, be proud. Here he is. 
Probably just had another pike on it. it was a thun one? Felt like a thunderous hit. But. Yep, that's usually a Oh, you missed going in the water, Mike. Lord knows I won't. Oh, oh, oh. That might that's be a big pike. Like a pike. Yeah, he's a big pike too, I think. Yeah.